Hey, hey Mbumba clan. clan, welcome back to our channel. I'm Zinke. And I'm Uspusi, so and we are the Mlangenis. Guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new to our channel, you do want to know of the one house rule, the Mlangini house rule, and that is to simply click subscribe and join the family. Yes, guys, and for our returning MCs, guys, Welcome back. back. Yeah, guys, so as you can see from the title of this video today, we are doing an FAQ on marriage. So frequently asked questions. So we posted uh, that people must ask us questions mm -hmm. about marriage on our social media accounts. Yeah, you, you can, can find me on Spooda, uh, on, on, on Instagram. It's uh, Spooda underscore JM and my wife here. At Popana 68 and together at the Mlanginis. Underscore. Yeah, so journey with us guys as we answer these questions mm -hmm. um, We're trying to make we try to make this as quick as possible so that it doesn't become a very long video And we do ask that married people also answer some of the questions in the comment section below because you know what? This is how we learn this is how we grow and Yeah, so please guys do comment down below and tell us what disclaimer based on our experience based on our setup that is how we're answering the questions. Yeah, we are not professionals by any uh, 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 chance. We are just <laughs> people, two people who got married and are talking about their experiences through this journey yes. the past couple of years. So without further ado, guys, let us get into the video. Yeah, so the first question that we want to tackle today... Mm -hmm. Say, take care, we are taking... So the first question is, mm -hmm. um, do you ever experience doubts mm -hmm. e.g. wrong partner is marriage for you should we have waited and done it later uh wrong partner no i don't think like i married the wrong partner i i can just imagine if you feel like that because you would feel so miserable in your relationship so wrong partner definitely i married the right dude over here and is marriage for me yes it is i'm in it Two years and count. <laughs> <laughs> and what? You have waited and, and done it later. Ah, uh, you know, it was it was done at the right time. That's how I feel. Um, I don't think I would have done it like earlier, earlier, and definitely not later, later. So it was at the right time when it happened. Yeah, I think I share the same sentiments. Yep. I share the same answer basically. But in Kilakaleu in in Sotu and in Zulu, but Lamilelo. Yes. Second question. Yeah, so the second question, guys, is is what is submission to to me? You yeah. know, as as the husband, mm -hmm. um, I believe that we all have different ways of how we want our wives to submit to us. You mm -hmm. know, and it varies across people. Um, mine, I'd say, on top of my list is, is respect. Um, I value I value respect, um, and also um, um, it's a very long list. So I I want get into detail on all of those things that I see as, as submission, but respect is, is really one of them because um, with respect comes so much, you know, and also um, love, you know, I see love as submission and you can't submit from a point of hate, you know, yeah. so love also is, is a factor of, of how I see and how I, or, or what submission is to me. Um, the next question mm -hmm. is, um, how was it when you first met each other's families? It's like the, the, the family, like at large, they, they're very nice people and I didn't feel weird. Everyone was just like, ah. so that was my experience with meeting the family. Yeah. Um, from my side, um, when I met your mother, yeah. You know, when I met, met, met your mother, not the first encounter that I had with her. Yeah. Um, very welcoming, very bubbly and very happy and <laughs> entertaining person. Um, and it's because you met her as my husband now. Yes, yes. We were not yes. a boyfriend. <laughs> so, she's, she's a very, you know, she made me feel like the, the brother since they're all sisters, you know. The brother in the family. <laughs> The boy. The boy in the family, <laughs> not the brother in the family. Yeah, your brothers. Yeah. Mom, you know, no, yeah, yeah, my mom loves Sibuhe. Yo, uh -uh. <laughs> yo, yes, yeah. So it was a very nice experience yeah, from no, both yeah. of our side. We didn't really introduce one another when it was boyfriend and girlfriend, like the whole shebang bang. Ha. Yeah, we waited until 
Um, so the next question is mm-hmm. directed to me, um, and it's what do men value most? Love, respect, oh, or what? what? And I'll come back to what I said about submission yeah. also. It's different strokes for different folks, mm-hmm. you know. And to me also, respect is one of the things that I value most. Yeah. And love also, because it, 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 it is how I see um, 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 submission, you know, and how I receive submission. You yeah. Know? Um, yeah, but yeah, respect is, you know, like, but respect is, is, is a mutual thing. You know, yeah. you, you know, also, it, yeah. everything must come from a point of respect. It must happen from, from, both point, yeah, from both sides. I believe when you're in a relationship, one of the top things in, 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 in that relationship should be respect. You know, mm. it doesn't matter how angry you are. It doesn't matter, you know, but don't lose that respect. Like, value that respect. Yeah. And then, and, and, yeah, I think that's the building block, respect. Well, before so what do you value more, and, and love or respect? Respect. Okay. Respect comes with love. So other men, please comment down below what you value, value, value most. most. Yeah. yeah. So that's my take, guys. That's me. Yeah. Um, and then the next question is... Um, do you schedule sex? Do we? No. Nada. <laughs> no, we don't. No. Um, not in a form of like we don't yeah no um and when we did our video of uh, staying attracted to your partner for us as we said it's also just communication when it comes around sex because it's different it's different for different people and i do i do not i'm not against scheduling sex because i can think of people that are in long distance relationship traveling partners mothers fathers work like there can be reasons where okay you know what you need to schedule because you need to have that sex time but for us no we don't schedule like uh sex. anytime is tea time anytime is tea time uh what one key advice would you give a wife to be or wanna be or wanna be so wife to be um wanna be first of all there's nothing called wife material what I can tell a lady or a girl who wants to enter into this union is first of all, respect yourself, know yourself. So if you know yourself, you're going to be fine as a wife because you are fine as a person. You need to be complete as a girl and you need to be sure. Yo, yeah, you just need to know who you are and your worth and like really have that and know that and you can take up any position wife see or whatever and that for me what's important is for you just to know yourself yeah. so that would be my one key advice yeah it's yeah. good advice next question is how important is it to stay fly for your hearts even if you okay fine men of God so I, I'm thinking like a priest like a pastor like a minister you know um, for me it's still a relationship you guys are both still in a relationship that needs communication in the Guyako will tell you you know this is what they like and and you know it doesn't have to be because I know maybe sometimes that office is treated you know um with seriousness maybe in the way who wouldn't want that you are in a mini skate when you're outside or whatever but with everything i think um communication and also staying fly is just you know just he must see that you are here you know you are here and like i mean i mean i'm, I'm not a i'm not a pastor or anything yeah. but i believe that you are a husband at home you know definitely you are a husband at home yeah. so you do husband things you know <laughs> you do husband things yeah. and yeah and don't stop dating also there's just a lot there's just a lot you know just don't i'm feel... still i'm still i'm still a husband if yeah. if, if it happens that one day i'm a pastor you know i'd still want to look at my wife and be like hey boo hey y'all hey well, mm. well. <laughs> you know type of thing but i understand maybe when you like now in the forefront like let's say you are dating or you're with a pastor a pastor but also i just feel like relationships are different and setups are different because i can say do one two three and your husband is just like ah no yeah don't do this you know also communication communication 
communication, but girls still do the most. Yeah, and the next question is, um, what do you, uh, how do you guys deal with disagreements? It's a journey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's a journey and I also feel like it's so different. It's what are we arguing about? That's the other thing and that's why it's different. What are you arguing about? Like me and Sibu can be arguing uh, about the most dumbest thing ever and it would be like, a, you know, um, I don't know. Like there isn't like a, a way, a way of dealing with disagreements, but like as my husband has said, in the disagreement, do not stop respecting each other. In the disagreement, do not stop loving one another. And I think that just sets how you would deal with it because then you are mindful of how you speak, what you say. Um, so I'm saying it's a journey because I mute. I go to mute and sometimes I don't go to mute because I don't know. Sometimes when I'm outspoken about it, it's very outspoken. And sometimes when I'm quiet, like it's a journey on how... Yeah, I think, when it, it happens. I think it depends yeah. also what is it about. If you're just having an argument about general yeah. public information or about the news or whatever, mm. we just all, always want to get our opinions to be heard, you know. Um, but I, I previously I used to I used to be that guy who's like, okay, baby, you know what, it's fine, you're right. Mm. But I realized one day, but you know, I must not mm -hmm. because there'll be a time where I have to say no or there'll be a time where I have to disagree with her. And she will not take it so well because she's used to getting her way. Then <laughs> Yeah, and ever since that day, he hasn't stopped. <laughs> yeah, and ever since that day, he hasn't stopped. But we always, always, always find if we're arguing about something that we have to for, make a decision, make a decision on, on yeah. we always find a way to be like, okay, what's we the best to. decision yeah. um, and for both of us and not just for one. So that's where compromise comes in yes. and, you know, certain, yeah. Consider your partner's feelings and their point of view. Next question is, mm -hmm. do you find it easy to submit? Ah, another submission one. Um, I always say I personally find submission easy because um, my husband loves me and I know that he loves me and I feel that he loves me and I see that he loves me. So submission when your partner loves you is so easy but the other important thing is that my husband has a plan you need to submit to somebody that has a vision all right you submit when you submit to your husband you submit to the vision you submit because submission is basically giving your partner their place i'm giving my husband his place he's my husband actually guys and i know maybe people would be like ha ah, equal no 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 my husband is my husband my husband is there but then for my husband to be there, he needs to have a plan. Like, what am I saying yes to Usad? Like, where are we going with this whole thing so that I can boldly say I submit to him? But for me, personally, submission is so easy because I feel loved. And also, um, as he stated that he, he has his own list on what submission is to him. I have my list how I want him to love me because the word of God says, husbands, love your wife as Christ loved the church. And then wives submit to your husband as you submit to God. So for me, it is important for him to love me and I communicate how I want to be loved. And therefore, it becomes so easy to submit. It's not like a, Sibu says, let's have tea. And I'm like, no! I want coffee. <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> hey, submission in England. Yeah. Um, another question. The next question is. So the next question is, how do you discuss finances and how and who does what? All right. First things first. Finances, another big thing, eh? big big thing, because it's finances. Um, transparency when it comes to finances, how we do it. It's not his money. It's not my money. It's our money. And we're transparent because when you transfer our money, it's, it's <laughs> his money, my money, our money. So when you are transparent with your finances, it makes it easier to see where you are as a couple in terms of because finances is not only just the good, there's also the bad, which is like the debt and stuff. And 
that is important to be transparent because then you are able to build and work from a point of you you starting on a clean like slate yeah. and you know what you're building towards you know what you need to work towards like clearing your debt so for us what's important is transparency and the question then who does what because it's our money we have a budget and we pay i pay less we pay things and that's how we run the household but basically i know how much my husband earns he knows how much i earn and that's how we deal with our household expenses yeah i mean it's very much important to account for be accountable yeah like be accountable when it comes to 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 your family um finances yeah. you know don't steal from 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 your marriage also or from your family as well because sometimes when money goes unaccounted for that's 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 stealing yeah. you know um you find that you find that i have, i would have gone out and i spent a thousand and don't tell my wife yeah. about it you know we don't have a joint account you know i have yeah. my own account so there transparency is very important i can go out spend a thousand and then i come back and make him quiet mm. you know that's i have a thousand rent, yeah i have a, I have a thousand rent yeah. less you know i should tell her that you know what i went out and i spent this much mm. yes she will be like yeah. but she knows yeah. that we are a thousand rands down you yeah. know and also and also um, um um take responsibility of the mistakes that you make mm. you know take responsibility if you made a mistake financial decision wise yeah. be accountable hence i say be accountable i mean be, mm. being accountable is very important when it comes to family finances and family finances also I just want to add a last point is that you need to value money you need to value your relationship with money uh, because I'm sitting here and he's saying I went out and I spent a thousand rand I'm like huh? <laughs> what <laughs> um, so basically when you know your relationship with money and you know the type of person you are like it's, it's, it's also like its own journey that you must like be aware of finances understand finances understand your goals as an individual and as a family and yeah. then you wouldn't just just in jail be doing things because you know it would be harmful to the family to your goals to our goals so it's also just understanding your relationship with money and valuing money like money is also a relationship on its own you have a relationship with money and as my husband said like finances are other like is one of the top three that people do divorce because you can be cheating on finances and doing that spending a thousand rand spending whatever whatever and not disclosing not understanding that that could be harmful to your family to your goals and to to things that you want to achieve yeah yeah okay um what are you guys grateful for i'm just you know for love for provision and for yeah there's so much to be grateful for but i'm um, especially during this time i'm so grateful to god that we have provision and and i this guy <laughs> yeah man I'm, I'm really i'm really grateful i'm grateful for my wife yeah. to have in my life um that's one thing i'm really grateful for and and um as she said obviously uh, uh, uh provision mm. um sustainability I feel like God has sustained us. Yeah, you. you know, he has uh, he has sustained us so much that it's it's yeah it's it's, it's even yeah God has uh, yeah God has uh, yeah sustainability. Yeah. I'm grateful for sustainability, yeah. man. All right, next question: How do you how do you survive having to share your space and also having someone next to you and always having somebody next to you? Well. My take is that the moment I, I I I decided that I'm going to marry my wife, I understood that I am going to share, share space. space and I'm going to, you know, be with someone twenty four seven. You know, yeah. not twenty four seven. Obviously, I still have to go to work and stuff like that. But there'll be a person who's going to take most of my time, and who's within your who's, surroundings you know, who's within all my the space time. And and, and, yeah. and yeah, so. I, it's not much yeah you know it means i know a friend of mine actually was asking me this question um that how do you do this space thing and it also i also just want to say it starts with you as well because you can get comfortable being by yourself 
and when you move into this setting it's one of those walls that you need to break it's one of that compromise that you need to break it was gonna it was all good when you were by yourself you know but like as my husband is saying when you come into a marriage it's a union you're understanding that the two shall be one like literally this is now our space so it's a mental thing to just unlock and shift but and my husband we're not always like here guys but i understand there's like the the, the space yeah, thing and yeah. we're okay with sharing each other's space and sometimes if i feel like i want like alone time or i just want to do my thing um i can be in the next room i can be listening to music i can be watching my own movie when my husband is doing something else and i feel like there's ways that you can you can still give each other space when you live together so that the person can do what they want to do you know so yeah so it's just it's it's something you work you work together with this space thing yeah yeah where, where, where are we now um so do you implement any gender roles do you? no no <laughs> no no, no. And you were speaking about this that it, it's also um how you were raised yes and how i was raised as well um so because sibu sibu was fine by himself honestly he was a bachelor that did everything and when he entered into marriage he didn't have a switch where he was like eh i have a wife you know and uh, obviously, I was just not gonna have that as well. I don't, know. I don't know. But obviously, there are things that I see as I wouldn't be comfortable you wouldn't do with it. my wife yes. doing it. I wouldn't be comfortable with my changing their lives, yeah. you know, and stuff like that. But if she could, then you know, yeah. I know that if I'm not around, she'll I be would. able to change the lives. Yeah, you know. But so, if he's here, why should I? Why? Yeah. So <laughs> I think I get you with 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 certain things that um. When Sibu is here, why must I take out the bin? And you know, a bin is known as the man does this, you know, mm. changing the bulb. Um, so we don't necessarily like now all male things, roles, we like Sibu must do it. All female things. My husband cooks and he's a better cook than me and he does that. So he does not chill. I've said this oh, before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not like, and we help each other, you know, our. We, we share chores, like we help each other and, um, and, and I appreciate that because then I don't feel overworked, you know, because I mean, we both work and like, you I remember I still have to work and I still have to work <laughs> again. So everyone must be not too tired. Everyone, so every, must, yeah, must share the load. I must share the load. But I get that, you know, there's certain things that Sibu wouldn't do and he'd be like, okay, Zintle, you're here. But it's not like a, a thing in our household that I do one, two, three and Sibu does one, two, three. If there's dishes there, he will wait for me to come back to wash them. If he's hungry, he will wait for me to come so that I can come make him food known. So I guess we do implement them, but not. it's not a thing. It's it's not a thing. Yeah, yeah, it's not a thing. It's a it's, choice. Yeah, if I have to do it, I'll do it. It's a choice, yeah. yeah. You're right. Where are we? Money. If I earn more than my male partner, what are the do's and don'ts? So I guess this is for me, yeah? Mm. Um, if I earn more than my male partner, I just believe that, as I said before, just give your man his place. Men want to feel that they are the men in the relationship and men want to know and be respected that they are a man in a relationship. And so when finances come into play, because they are a big role in play, it's a matter of still, I, I, for me, I like, it wouldn't be even a problem because it's our money number one and um so what what are the do's and the don'ts maybe maybe the problem is you tell your man that you earn more and you make him feel like you earn more so i think it's that thing that maybe there's that lack of respect and sometimes maybe you're saying it not from a bad place you know um like for example when there's no bread in the house if I earned more, I will still not buy that bread. 
Sibu must see that we are hungry, there's no bread, you know. So that, that's a little example that just makes your men feel that they provide because they want to be able to provide for their family. So don't come with, with the bread and, I don't know, flaunt. Maybe people flaunt it and that's why it becomes a problem. Um, so, but, but for me, okay, I've never earned, I've once earned more than Sibu a long, long time ago, but we're not even married. Um, but I think, yeah, what, what, what would you say? I think more than anything is, is making, it's make, it's making him feel that he's yeah. actually earning less, mm. you know, um, cause sometimes you find that you should be from an understanding that he actually works hard yeah. for the money that he's getting or, yeah. you know, and my husband works very hard and the money that he's bringing home is it's, enough, it's yeah. enough, you know, and also, um, 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 we work for different companies. You guys can be in the same, you can be in a lower position and you can be working for a different company in a low, if that lower position in mm. a different company pays you more. It's just a lot of dynamics, but I think the, the fact is that uh, respect him, mm. uh, don't rub it in his face, yeah. appreciate that the fact that what he's bringing mm. is, 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 make him feel that the money that he's bringing into the family is valuable. Yeah, it's yeah. like we like we value the money if that you're bringing in into that, the family. You know, yeah. if he's bringing, uh, if you are bringing in a thousand rand, five hundred, and he's bringing in just a thousand, value th that because without that thousand, you 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 don't have two point five. Yeah. Okay. Um. What do you advise a person to have in order? E.g. finances lifestyle before getting into marriage so people do it differently but you must have things in order yeah, you must have right. everything in order right. Right. if you don't have finances you are likely to start on a debt marriage which will be frustrations upon frustration so try sort that out lifestyle it does not switch it's not a switch it can be that um you were doing one two three and you were married it's changed overnight. It will still flow into the marriage. So however you are before you are married, you need to do an introspection and be like, am, as a person, as Uzinke, am I ready to get married? And getting married, you need to understand that maybe there's, there's certain things that you need to give up. If you can do it before, please do it. Get everything in order because if it was a problem when you were single, it will definitely be a problem when you are married. Yeah. That's True. just how it is. True. Is it easy to compromise in a marriage setup? I feel in a marriage setup that it's very much easy because um, the security. Wait. If the security, it makes it easy. Yeah. Yeah, because there must be security, you know, because um, also you find that. I'll, I'll speak about about us guys sometimes we want um we want people are unreasonable sometimes you become unreasonable my wife can be unreasonable mm. with me you know and wants me to compromise unreasonably so you know so you need to be realistic also you mm. know but i feel like because you guys know where you're going and this is a journey that you guys are in it together mm. so it makes it very much easy because you know yeah. that you are secured you know that um, this is not just for me, but for us as well. So there's a lot of compromises that come yeah. with, with, with being married, mm. you know, so, and those compromises are actually easier because you have an understanding of this is not just for me, mm. but for us. It's a drop in the ocean. It's like, it's not, yeah, you're not shaken when you need to compromise. It is easier. There's yeah. no fork fork. No. Yeah, no, no. No. Because if you if you if you're not married, you can easily say, you know what, I don't want to see you this week. You don't want to do this, fine. But I mean, as my husband said, if you're together, you understand the goal. That's why you must have a man with a vision, and he must say what that vision is, ladies. Don't just yes. follow. Yeah, no, don't just don't just follow blindly. <laughs> yeah, I love him. Where are we going with this love? So that when you compromise, because you understand where you are heading. You know, so a man taking his place as a as a husband as a man 
requires a lot actually from a man and it requires him to think and have a vision so that he can communicate it you know so that things are easier because if i don't know what the vision is and you want me to compromise i'd be like but but if we're both on the same page and we understand why are we doing all of this it's easier how do you deal with conflict with your husband so conflict is is a big thing ne? conflict is a big thing yeah so the conflict um i'd rather i not say things when i'm very angry and it's all heated because i've learned from the past that that's just not nice um you end up saying things that you wish you hadn't said it because words are like bullets they out they out you know so i've learned that if i really feel like um i would i would say nasty things or if i feel like i actually don't want to speak about it right now i'd rather calm calm down and then when i'm a bit calm then obviously always we must talk about it we need to talk about it so that it doesn't happen again or oh, so that you understand how i reacted why i reacted the way i reacted why i felt hurt or whatever the case was but we need to talk about it once it's calm and the nice thing is that i don't have um my husband understands this he understands my way of dealing you know so when i'm in mute he won't come and poke and poke and poke you know i guess we just both see that okay right now is not the time to have like a huge conflict let's calm down but definitely then he'll come and be like, I think what was one, two, three. And then I'll be calmer at that point. So I won't be like, ah, and then I'll be like, no. And it will still be like a disagreement, maybe, you know, like an argument. But it's not like we now we're speaking from a place of love. You know, we're not speaking where I actually want to hurt you during this because you made me feel like one, two, three. Yeah. Never my 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 didn't ask me this question, but the key thing for me is don't don't fall in love don't fall in love don't fall out of love yeah because there are moments where you know when people are in conflict they just fall out of love with their uh, with their yeah. partners and they say things that you are call hurtful the names you know call them stuff, names no. just continue that's just argue from a point of love um that conflict everything you say must come from a point of love yeah. if it's a criticism it must come from a point of love and you can be you know you can say something it's the same thing with a different tone and can mean different things yeah that's true yeah so yeah you must just argue or have conflict from a point of love how do you handle in-law problems have you ever had in-law problems i mean i'm now but i don't, I don't know I, I don't have I me don't really. i tell on them i tell my husband i've had and then I was like, I didn't say anything at that point, you know, because um, I always feel like he needs to protect me from his family, you know. Um, I'm not going to, like, fight people now. No, I'll keep my cool at that point. And then I'll go tell my husband and be like, okay, one, two, three. Then it is his people. He must go fight for me. <laughs> So I feel like also that's also important because you don't want to tarnish like relationships and uh, because family is not forgiving. So I understood that very early. So when I, I had a little glitch, I did not respond because I understand that these people are actually going to be in my life for a very long time because I, I could have. Okay, I could have, you know, it's like, but I was like, no this is actually my family and i think with in-laws i think because they are in-laws sometimes we don't feel like they're family mm. and i wouldn't treat them the way i treat my own family and for me i just understand that okay this is my new family so let me they are in-laws but they're actually family and we're going to have a long-term relationship so this one little argument let it not ruin, you know, let it not ruin like a lifetime of goodness. And I know even from my own family, also I would react differently because you also hurt each other in your own family. So, um, but I tell, I, I tell on them, I'm like, sweetie, that person, one, two, three, and then he must handle it. Yeah, no, and it's my role to protect my <laughs> wife. And I feel like 
also the day I have conflict with her family, I should address it with her mm. because she knows them, she knows them better, she knows yeah. how to handle them. And my wife is my priority. I think they know this. My family knows this. <laughs> I don't even have to think about it. I know, mm. I know where my loyalty lies. Mm. You know. So yeah, if you have a problem with my wife, you have a problem with me, basically. basically. You know. So yeah. Another question. This is the second last. What is the one thing that you enjoy most about being married? <sighs> one thing is just spending my life with somebody that I actually like. You know, I actually like my husband. Like it's so nice being with somebody that you love and like. And so everything that happens, I'm just happy to be doing it with him. Yeah, I think... The one thing that I really enjoy about being married is that um, there's always someone to talk to. Companionship. Like, yeah, I know. The uh, companionship. I yeah. mean, I really, really, really enjoy that. And my <laughs> husband doesn't talk that much. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and the fact that I'm going to bed with someone, guys. <laughs> you know, when my wife is not around and she's not in our bed, can't I can't fall asleep. Sleep. Like, when yeah. I want to go to sleep, I, I have to be like, Baby, I'm so loud. Yeah. And she was like, no, I don't feel like sleeping with no, but okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, but I, I just, I can't fall asleep without you next to me. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it's very difficult. And I know there's a couple of people that have, have shared the same. Uh, no, December he was away and I couldn't sleep. <laughs> like, and it's not a matter of, I think it's psychological because you know that this person is not in bed. Like I went to bed, I even slept in the middle and i took a pillow but i woke up so many times during the night like it was not comfortable it's and not. and it's very nice having <laughs> plus he is like super like he he becomes super hot so he's like my own heater my own <laughs> electric blanket okay um last question last question is when is the right time to tell uh strict parents that you want to get married at your 20s or not age 20, 20s. Age 20, was it age 20? Age of 20. 19, 18? 20. 18, 19? 20. So, for no chat. Okay, my take is that a strict parent is still a parent. And, um... Are you ready? You, the big question. Yes, that's the big question. Because I feel like when you know you are ready, it's easier to go, like, say your case. The question is, are you ready? Your strict parent is still a parent, you know? You'll tell them, they'll be angry, and they will come around. Um, but you must be honest. If it's what you really want to do, and you're ready for it, you must just tell them, you know? Um, and you'll deal. You'll deal with everything else that comes. Because when you know it's what you really want... Down the line, you won't be resentful towards your partner and say, yeah, really, at home they say that I shouldn't have married you. No, because you would have known that it's something that you actually want to do. Yeah. So that's, that, that's, that's my take. That's our take. That Be ready and be sure mm -hmm. and tell them everything else will fall into place. Everything else always falls into place, guys. It does. It does. So yeah, with yeah. that being said, guys, oh, this is a very long day. Yeah. Like very long. Very long. But yeah, guys, thank you so, so much for asking us those questions. If you still have more questions, please do DM us in at um the Blongenis underscore. The Blongenis underscore. So just leave some of the questions on the comment section and we'll get around to them. Sorry for the long video, guys, but we must give the people what they want. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, yeah. Yeah, man, may God bless you. And uh, may his favor just shine upon you guys. May, may he grant you protection during yeah. this time. Yeah, I mean, and peace, you know, just peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah panic say suspend and all of those nasty things Amen. yeah just be in peace and be um, comfortable and be happy and until the next video guys bye <laughs>